Dave Chappelle releases a new stand-up special honoring George Floyd, The Bachelor announces its first black male lead, and the Oscars are setting new inclusion requirements for eligibility. Dave Chappelle addressed the death of George Floyd and the ongoing nationwide protests against police brutality in his surprise new 27-minute special titled 846, which dropped on Netflix's comedy YouTube channel early Friday morning. Why would anyone care what their favorite comedian thinks after they saw a police officer kneel on a man's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds. First, Chappelle praised the people currently protesting against police brutality and systemic racism. I want to shout out all the young people who have had the courage to go out and do all this amazing work protesting. I am very proud of you. Discussing how right-wing media attempted to paint Floyd as a flawed person and criminal, Chappelle excoriated conservative pundit Candace Owens. She's the worst. I can't think of a worse way to make money. She's the most articulate idiot I've ever seen in my f***ing life. During the special, Chappelle also linked together a bewildering number of incidents touching on the death of Trayvon Martin and the police killings of Philando Castile, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, and John Crawford, the last of which was particularly poignant for Chappelle as it happened in his hometown of Beaver Creek. Next, The Bachelor has found its new leading man, and he's making history as the franchise's first black bachelor. THR's Neha Joy has more. In its 40 seasons and 18 years on the air, The Bachelor has never had a black male lead, but that all changed Friday when ABC casted Matt James, a 28-year-old real estate broker and entrepreneur, for the show's landmark 25th season, following days of renewed public pressure to cast a black leading man, citing the franchise's lack of diversity. James was previously set to be a contestant on Claire Crawley's forthcoming season of The Bachelorette before production was shut down in March and postponed indefinitely amid the novel coronavirus pandemic. But James is not unfamiliar with Bachelor Nation, having been frequently seen on social media with fan favorites like Tyler Cameron and former Bachelorette Hannah Brown. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is setting up a task force to quote, develop and implement new representation and inclusion standards for Oscars eligibility by July 31st, 2020. The measure was approved on Thursday via a Zoom meeting of the Board of Governors. Academy CEO Don Hudson said in a statement, while the Academy has made strides, we know there is much more work to be done in order to ensure equitable opportunities across the board. The need to address this issue is urgent. To that end, we will amend and continue to examine our rules and procedures to ensure that all voices are heard and celebrated. For more on all these stories, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.